do you remember Blur? Let me refresh your memory. Blur was one of the most unique racing games from the 2010s. Sometimes referred to as Mario Kart but with real cars, Blur was a bizarre creation made by Bizarre Creations, parents of the Project Gotham Racing franchise. This game had you racing with a big variety of cars. And you don't do normal racing here. You do vehicular combat racing with an arsenal of tools of destruction. Power-ups. I know this sounds ridiculous on paper, but Bizarre Creations pulled it off perfectly. Published by Activision, Blur received critical acclaim but underwhelming sales. Still, Bizarre Creations started working on a sequel not so long after the release of the first game. In today's episode, I'll talk about the story behind the Blur sequel that never happened. You might want to get some snacks though, because this is gonna be depressing. As I stated earlier, Blur had low sales, but this didn't stop Bizarre Creations from developing Blur 2 in a whole new engine. The first game was fantastic and offered hours and hours of high-octane fun, but with this engine upgrade, the game would have been taken to a completely new level. The prototypes allowed us to see new features that will make races even more exciting. One of them is wall riding. This will be a great new mechanic, as it will bring a new twist to the races. Driving on walls and being able to drive upside down sounds fantastic, and as you're watching right now, it looks fantastic. This prototype also showcases one of the new tracks that were going to be in the sequel, Dubai. The other tracks were Detroit, North Africa, a ski resort in an unknown location, Odessa, Miami, Liverpool, and Hong Kong. Unfortunately, most of these tracks were white boxed meaning they were unfinished and untextured. The developers wanted to make tracks feel more alive and dynamic, with rainstorms, avalanches, and even tornadoes. Yup, the jumps and rideable walls weren't enough. They were going for dramatic weather effects to make the racing a more exciting experience. Even though this is footage from an early build, it's noticeable that the graphics got a big upgrade. The car reflections looked better, the ambience at lightning looked more natural, and some of the weapons actually left a trail of destruction behind them. As I said earlier, Blur had an eclectic selection of cars, and Blur 2 was going to expand that even more. New car brands like Bugatti, Ferrari, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Roth, the Lightning Car Company, Ultima, and more will join for the sequel. Unfortunately, after months of work from the developer team, Activision just wasn't convinced by the sales of the first game, and proceeded to scrap the project, proving they weren't confident on the sequel. Bizarre Creations closed its doors not so long after, leaving behind a legacy of fantastic games made by a team of very talented and creative people. See? I told you this would be depressing. Thank you so much for watching until the end, consider subscribing and sharing the video. Now that Microsoft acquired Activision, would you like to see Blur come back? Do you think it's possible? Share your opinion in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Again, thank you for everything and see you next time.